Hi guys, welcome back to the Science of Golf Performance YouTube show. I'm Alex, and today our topic is going to be on nutrition. Now this is a part two, continuing off part one of what I talked about a couple weeks ago. Uh, that's all about energy balance. So if you haven't yet, go back, watch that one. Uh, it's going to be a good preface into this one as well. So macronutrients. Now when you're, this is all going to be about determining the amounts of macronutrients that you should be having in your diet to optimize your body composition, to make sure you're fueling yourself properly for performance. The three main ones we're going to talk about are protein, fats, and carbohydrates. Now technically, alcohol and fiber can be included in that as well, but these are the main ones that we want to focus on to really improve performance and make sure you're dialing in your nutrition properly. So first of all, uh, first one we're going to go over is protein. So your protein intake is super important. Uh, arguably the most important when it comes to the macronutrient that you're including and the one to dial in. Uh, protein is included in every single metabolic processes that our body goes through. So it's super important for rebuilding muscle tissue, um, carrying out functions that enzymes from the protein need to carry out, so our organ systems working properly, things like that. So super important, and this is the one that I'm going to talk about first because it is so. So when going to determine the amount of protein that you need in your diet, it's a good idea to use this equation right here. You're going to take your body weight and multiply that by 0.8, and that's the low end of protein that you should be aiming to hit. And you should also take the high end, multiply it by 1.2, and that's the high end of protein that you should be taking. So if you fall within that, um, as far as grams per day of protein that you're taking, that's a pretty good baseline of what the research shows is great for uh, performance and overall health. So the 1.2 might be pushing it a little bit, especially if you're on the higher range body weight side. Uh, 0.8 is more than enough for most people. Um, however, if you're more of an endurance athlete um, or cardiovascularly uh, fit, you might want to stay on the high end. Uh, so think like runners um, for your golfer, your average golfer, you know, if you're getting 0.8 grams times your body weight and protein, uh, it's more than enough and the research supports that that's going to help you with your performance as far as maintaining muscle mass and getting the most out of your training. So the second one I'm going to talk about is fats. And fats are obviously also essential and they're very important, um, especially on the female side. Uh, these are all about regulating hormones and it makes up the walls of our cells within our body. So super important that we get the right amounts and the right kinds. Um, also going to help us with our performance overall. So I recommend between 20 and 30 percent of your overall calories coming from fats. And now there's a little give and take here. I re recommend females being more on the higher side as healthy fats are a little bit more important to us with the hormones that we have. Men tend to do well between, sometimes a little sub-20, but between that 20 and 30 range, you're getting the right amount of healthy fats, um, and that's going to help with overall performance. Now, the remaining calories that you have after determining your protein and fats can come from carbohydrates and are going to need to come from carbohydrates. If you are someone who responds better to carbohydrates in your diet as, you know, you feel a lot better, your training feels a lot better as carbs are the main source when it comes to like anaerobic exercise. So think fast explosive movements like a golf swing um, or sprinting, something explosive and fast like carbohydrates are the like go-to energy source for that. So maybe you're that person who wants to focus a little bit more on carbohydrates. Now you could stay at a high end. So as long as protein stays here and you're within this range, carbs and fats can kind of vary. You can bring the carbs up or the fats down or the fats up and carbs. And the research shows that as long as calories and protein are equated for, so your calories go back to part one, figure those out, that's your energy balance, and then your protein styled in, fats and carbs can kind of do whatever you want, however you feel the best. If you feel better on a high carb diet and a lower fat, that's great. If you feel a little bit better on higher fat, lower carbs, that's great. As long as protein is within here and your overall calories are dialed into maintenance. Again, part one, go check that out. So this ends up being around 40 to 60%, as long as this is within 20 to 30%. So again, um, see how you feel. You can kind of play with each, but make sure your total calories are in place. 
Now, when all these are kind of put into place, all of your, your macros are dialed in, your calories are dialed in, you're at eating at a maintenance, this is where body composition can truly thrive. Okay, we're gonna be focusing on putting on lean muscle mass, uh, targeting fat and burning fat rather than burning muscle. And in the next part, we'll talk about like where those should come from, like where the carbs should come from, what kinds of foods, and also we'll talk about timing in the future as well. Um, but as far as you know, your pyramid goes, the most important thing is those calories still, the energy balance, the next top step up the pyramid would be macronutrients, dialing these in, the next most important thing. And then we'll talk a little bit more about micronutrients, where they're coming from and timing um, in future videos. But hopefully this made sense. If you want a little more of a breakdown of the actual numbers, check out the blog that we put up on macronutrients. It has a breakdown in there of, um, so you can actually do the math yourself. Um, hope you enjoyed this, got a lot out of it. Uh, it's really gonna help you with your overall golf performance goals, your fitness goals, and we will continue on in the next videos. Thank you and see you in the next one.